Hey everyone, Braden here coming to you with a D23 Expo update. Yesterday at the parks panel, we had big Epcot news here for Walt Disney World, big Marvel news for the other parks. We made videos going in-depth, recapping and commenting on all of that, so make sure to check those out. But we've still got a few news stragglers left. I'm not sure if you would call a new Disney Cruise Line private island designed by Joe Rody himself a straggler. It's more like a lead story. Same with the brand new photos we just got from inside the Runaway Rail so we're going to take a look at all of that right now. Starting with the Runaway Railway, currently slated for a spring 2020 opening in Walt Disney World. First off, Bob Chapek gave us this look at the new entrance facade to the attraction. We've seen the sign already at a previous press event in like a close-up shot, but here you can see it with the Chinese theater and everything all put together, the new entrance facade. Next time you're in Hollywood Studios, if you go over to the Chinese theater courtyard area, you can actually even see the spot where this beautiful neon sign will soon be mounted. Mounted. Really excited for that, but that's not all we got because we actually got real life photos, not concept art, real photos inside. This is a new look at the inside of the attraction at Walt Disney World, and as you can see, our Imagineers are hard at work. Okay, so here's a full res look at that photo here. Now, what just goes to show how incredible this attraction is, is the fact that if you look at the Imagineer, you can tell this is a real photo. But if it weren't for the Imagineer there, you'd think this was a 2D short that we were watching a Mickey Mouse short and it was not actually something in 3D space, a real life photo. And that is the two and a half D effect. Imagine your Kevin Rafferty who created this attraction was telling us all about when he announced it at the 2017 D23 Expo. We're using the black light paint effect to make things stand out. So the colors look out of this world, the colors you normally only see on a screen and actually bringing those into a 3D environment and combining them with projection technology and then moving 2D elements at different depths that pop out at you like you're really inside a cartoon. This is going to be seriously something special. I cannot describe how excited I am for the Runaway Railway. I've always joked that I'm more excited for the Runaway Railway than Galaxy's Edge, but seriously, I am really excited for the Runaway Railway. It is going to be an incredible time. I am so excited for it. Same with Rise of the Resistance, but Runaway Railway, especially with all this tech they're doing where things are gonna be moving around, it is going to be out of this world, something that we've never seen before, but we didn't just get a look at one of the scenes inside the two and half D short. Remember, when the ride begins, you're going to be riding alongside Goofy's train car, uh, featured on the expo show floor, in a 3D environment, alongside Mickey and Minnie animatronics, as they're in their little red car that is moving alongside of you, uh, as you are part of the short Mickey and Minnie's perfect picnic, and then things spin out of control, as they always do in Mickey Mouse shorts. Now, some online detectives have figured out, if you brighten this photo up, you can see over Mickey and Minnie's 3D car, uh, the ears of uh, Mickey or Minnie actually one of the animatronics uh, that are going to be riding in the car uh, over the top there sort of hidden in the background if you notice on the ground below the car you can see the cutout for the track arm that'll move the car alongside of you uh, as you're going through that scene in perfect picnic in the Mickey Mouse short it's kind of like Mickey and Minnie have their own little test track or ride vehicle there uh, with the cutout in the middle of the road which is kind of funny so that's the other tidbit we got for Walt Disney World the other bit of awesome info we got the last big announcement at the D23 Expo was Disney Cruise Line stuff. First, we got the name for the fifth ship joining the Disney Cruise Line fleet with this beautiful video reveal for the Disney Wish. Uh, that's the name for the fifth ship. Bob Chapek said Disney is going to receive the Disney Wish from the shipyard where it is currently being built in late 2021, and then it will begin sailing January 2022. So a pretty quick turnaround there. Here's a look at the grand entrance atrium for the ship. It is three stories tall with an enchanted fairy tale look, a fairy tale tail theme. As you can see on the stern for this ship, we've got Rapunzel dangling with her hair. Let me know your thoughts on Rapunzel as the stern character for this fifth ship. I think it's going to look really cool when it's all done and built. And remember, this is the first of three new ships, a new batch of ships that are joining the Disney Cruise Line family. And each of these ships will be slightly larger uh, than the Disney Dream and the Disney Fantasy, uh, the current largest ships we have in the fleet. And then the other big Disney Cruise Line announcement we got, uh, confirmation of was the private island Disney has purchased on the Bahamas, uh, Lighthouse Point, which will be joining Castaway Cay as a new island destination as part of the Disney Cruise Line. And none other than Joe 
Cody came out on stage to talk about this island and Disney's plans for it. Leading up to this announcement, there were a lot of petitions and a lot of concerns about Disney developing it as it's seen as a very special piece of land in the Bahamas that should be preserved. It's a private island though, so if anyone who could have bought it, I think Disney is the people you want in charge of a place like this because they clearly respect the island's natural beauty in preserving it. Joe Rohde emphasized the conservation aspect of the island here, where instead of developing the whole island with facilities and everything, they're intentionally making it a very light impact beachfront. Disney has committed to develop less than 20% of the property, and as you can see, what they're building on it not only has that Bahamas culture vibe, but also really lets the natural beauty of the island that you already have do the work for you. I don't know about you, but I'm really proud of what Disney's doing here, buying a property for both conservation and also giving their guests something to enjoy uh, that we can actually marvel at and experience. Construction on the island is projected to begin 2020, with the island opening late 2022 or in 2023, according to Disney's press release. Let me know your thoughts on all of this news. So everyone, that concludes our D23 updates here at the D23 Updates set. I had an awesome time. We covered so much news in such a short amount of time. I'm really, really proud of everything that we did. I don't know why I'm saying we. It was just me here, uh, but you guys watching it and your support is what makes it all possible. So that's why I say we, uh, because you are most definitely part of this journey with me. Speaking of journeys, I'm about to head down uh, to Walt Disney World to cover the opening of Galaxy's Edge for you guys. In this vlog format for you guys, I am very excited to do it. So make sure you're subscribed with those notifications on because it's going to be so much fun going to Galaxy's Edge and really seeing, is it a failure? Does no one show up? Or are there going to be huge crowds? How early are all the crowds going to be setting up? You know, a blog Mickey just posted on Twitter that Disney has put out signs at the Pop Century and there's a bunch of select uh, venues where they're going to be, the hotel food courts are going to be opening super, super early on the 29th. The Pop Century, everything Pop Century food court is opening at 2.30 a.m. the day of Galaxy's Edge. So clearly Disney is expecting some crowds pretty early in the morning. So it'll be really interesting to see how that all goes. And I'm so excited to find out. I'll see you there live from the D23 Expo set for the final time. This is Brayden. Have a magical day.